peace be with you. My name is Rodolfo Martin Vitancol, a Gemini. In this video, I will present to you the Christians and the Gemis in the parable of the tenants. The Christians and the Gemis figure in the parable of the tenants. Matthew 21, 33 to 41. Jesus said, <clears throat> Listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard. He put a wall around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a watchtower. Then he rented the vineyard to some farmers and moved to another place. When the harvest time approached, he sent his servants to the tenants to collect his fruit. The tenants seized his servants. They beat one, killed another, and stoned a third. Then he sent other servants to them, more than the first time, and the tenants treated them the same way. Last of all, he sent his son to them. They will respect my son, he said. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to each other, This is the heir. Come, let's kill him and take his inheritance. So they took him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. Therefore, when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? He will bring those wretches to a wretched end, they replied, and he will rent the vineyard to other tenants who will give him his share of the crop at harvest time. Who is the landowner who planted a vineyard? The landowner who planted a vineyard is God. What is the vineyard? The vineyard is the kingdom of God on earth. Who are the farmers or tenants to whom the landowner rented a vineyard? The farmers or tenants to whom the landowner rented a vineyard are the followers of Jesus, who later will be deceived by Paul and consequently call themselves Christians. What fruit does the landowner expect to collect from his vineyard at harvest time? The fruit the landowner expects to collect from his vineyard is fullness of life in the world. John 10.10 10, Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. It is a life that is not only liberated in the body from all kinds of evil and suffering in the world, but also saved in the soul from eternal damnation. For such is the life in the kingdom of God on earth. The kingdom of God on earth is a place 
where no one shall be, shall be seen deprived of his God-given right to live with complete human dignity and honor as a child of God, for such is the righteousness and justice of God. Matthew 6.10 Jesus said, Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. When is the harvest time? The harvest time is every time from the present life till the life in the world to come. Mark 10, 29-30 Jesus said, I can promise that everyone who has left their home, brothers, sisters, mother, father, children, or farm for me and for the good news about me will get a hundred times more than they left. Here in this world, they will get more homes, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and farms. And with these things, they will have persecutions. But in the world that is coming, they will also get the reward of eternal life. Who are the servants that the landowner sent to collect his fruit, but were killed by the tenants? The servants that the landowner sent to collect his fruit, but were killed by the tenants, are the believers of the gospel of Jesus. Paul condemned those who believed in the gospel of Jesus other than his own self-made gospel. Galatians 1, 6-8, Paul wrote, I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting the one who called you to live in the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel, which is really no gospel at all. Evidently, some people are throwing you into confusion and you are trying to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we, or an angel from heaven, should preach a gospel other than the one we preach to you, let them be under God's curse. Paul made them believe that they could only be saved if they turned to his own self-made gospel. Unfortunately, his self-made gospel was a gross corruption of the teachings and the true mission of Jesus. 1 Corinthians 15, 1-2, Paul wrote, Now, brothers, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you received, and in which you stand firm. By this gospel, you are saved. If you hold firmly to the word I preach to you, otherwise you have believed in vain. Who is the son of the landowner, whom the landowner sent, but was unfortunately also killed by the tenants? The son of the landowner, whom the landowner sent, but was unfortunately also killed by the tenants, is Jesus Christ. If the Jews crucified the living Jesus, Paul and his Christianity murdered 
the risen Christ. How did Paul and his Christianity murder Jesus? View my post with the title of the 12 destructions Christianity has done to Jesus and his mission. Jesus has never been remiss in warning the world before he left. Matthew 7, 15 to 20, Jesus said, Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are voracious wolves. What kind of wretched end the landowner will bring to the tenants for not giving his share of the crop at harvest time? Like a tree, God will be cutting down all the Christians in the world to come. Luke 13, 6-9, Jesus said, For three years now, I've been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and haven't found any. Cut it down. Why should it use up the soil? Who are the tenants the landowner will rent out his vineyard to that will give him his share of the crop at harvest time? The new tenants the landowner will rent out his vineyard to that will give him his share of the crop at harvest time are the Gemites. Who, specifically, are the Gemais? The name Gemai was derived from Jesus' mission. Je, from the first two letters of Jesus, and Mai, from the first two letters of mission. For the complete description of who the Gemais are, as against the Christians, you may view my post with the title of The Christianity of Paul versus The Gemites of Jesus. In conclusion, the parable of the tenants would be something like this when paraphrased. God sent His only begotten Son, Jesus, to establish the kingdom of God on earth. Before Jesus left the world to go back to His Father, Jesus entrusted the kingdom to His disciples. Unfortunately, a very crafty, and deceptive man by the name of Paul, who claimed to have been chosen by God to spread the gospel, came and turned Jesus' mission into a church. When time came for God to, to check his kingdom, what he saw was not a kingdom of God on earth, but a kingdom of Satan, filled with all kinds of evil and suffering, where many were found harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Jesus, his teachings, and his mission were brutally murdered beyond recognition by the 2,000 years of lies, deceptions, and hypocrisies of Paul and his Christianity. God had no other recourse 
but to bring eternal punishment to this evil group of deceivers. There is a new group he called to take over that would bring him the fruit he wanted. This new group is the Gemis. They are the new tenants of the kingdom. Amen. If you want to see a new life, a life that you've never seen before, may I invite you to subscribe to this channel and walk with Jesus all the way to making his mission of life happen in our world. In the name of God, through his only son, Jesus, I wholeheartedly thank you for viewing this video presentation. May the Spirit of God be always with you.